Appian's SpeedKit V can drop your evacuation times dramatically using any vacuum pump. Using large diameter hoses, removing restrictions, and simplifying the setup by eliminating a manifold are all keys to the SpeedKit's advantage. Follow these simple setup tips and create a fast evacuation setup. In this video, we will cover two port systems and multi-port systems, as the setups will differ slightly. For two port systems, begin by connecting valve core removal tools to both the high and low sides of the system. Next, remove the valve cores in the system access ports. This will allow full flow to the vacuum pump. Not removing valve cores will limit the pump to only 0.2 CFM of flow. Connect both black half-inch hoses to the 3 8 inch ports on the vacuum pump. If the vacuum pump does not have at least two 3 8 inch ports, connect a speed wide to expand its capacity. Otherwise, it's not necessary to use a speed Y in a two-port setup. Connect both hoses to the open ports on the VCRTs. Finally, connect a digital vacuum gauge to the side port of a valve core removal tool to measure and verify the evacuation. For multi-port systems, begin by following the steps outlined for two-port systems. Use VCRTs to remove valve cores from any additional ports you plan to connect hoses to. Next, connect a speed wide to an available port on your vacuum pump to expand its hose capacity. Connect up to two additional half-inch hoses to the ports on the speed Y. Finally, connect a digital vacuum gauge to the port that's furthest from the vacuum pump for the most accurate results. In any situation, don't forget that clean vacuum pump oil is the other important factor in fast evacuation. Change the vacuum pump oil as often as needed, which is whenever the vacuum gauge begins to show signs of stalling. This simple setup is all that's needed for a faster, more reliable evacuation. Questions on how to best set up your new SpeedKit V? Reach out to our support team today.